What's up, YouTube? One of the people commented on my past video asking for Mega Mink setups. Uh, I have actually competed with this person at competition. He's super cool, so shout out to him. And that's why I'm making this video. So I've got multiple Mega Minxes here. I have the Dian V2, the Yuhu V2, and the new Gan Mega Minx V2. Uh, seems like V2 is the best one, right? Now, I know there's a newer Diane. Uh, I don't have it, but I think this video should give you a good idea of how to set up your Diane Pro, hopefully. Uh, they're very similar. I have turned the Diane Pro before. The Diane Pro is just a bit faster with uh, better ridges for grip. So anyways, let's start with the Yuhu V2 because I feel like most people have that. Um, and these lubes I have back here are the best ones that I have found um, to work with Megaminx. So I've tried a bunch of different lubes and uh, I think the best one, like if you could only get one lube, um, I really recommend the Martian. It's just all around really good. It's very versatile, not just for Megaminx, for multiple events. But yeah, so Megaminx, you know, it's a cheaper product, so to get it really good and very supreme, you got to do quite a bit of setup. So the first thing I do on a new Mega, new Yuhu Megaminx is I pop off all of the center caps and I loosen it a lot. It comes very tight usually, and one thing that kind of sucks is sometimes you'll get sometimes you'll get like crooked screws, like the screws are pointed to the left or right. Uh, this one seems pretty even though, but I loosen it the way I like it. I like it very loose. And the downfall of that is you'll just get extra pops, so beware of that. And then once I've done that, I'll leave the center caps off still, and I'll put Lunar on the screws. And that seems to like help with the like center cap tensioning and like lubricate all of the tensions and stuff. And all you need is like one or two drops on each screw, and it should be perfect. So once you've done that. Then, I usually start with like five drops of Martian and divide your drops from like three different spots. So like do a spot here, do a spot here, and then do a spot here, just in opposite sides of the puzzle, just to help spread it around quicker. And then if that's too fast, then that's what Galaxy is for. So you'll use Galaxy to slow it down a little bit, make it a, a pinch gummier. De it depends on how much you use. I would start with like three drops and work from there. You don't want to make it too gummy. But either way, you break it in, it's just going to feel really, really nice. And then if it's too slow, then just put a couple drops of Lunar on the pieces and go from there. It really just goes off of feel. Uh, for me personally, I don't recommend using really heavy lubes like Traxxas or any of, the, any of the weight lubes. I feel like they're a little too heavy for Mega Minx. But if you were to use one, I would start with maybe weight four or Traxxas 10K. Um, but just be aware they last a while in the puzzle. They take a long time to break in. So if it's too heavy, I recommend just cleaning out your puzzle and restarting. All right, so next up is Diane V2. So Diane V2 takes a little bit of less setting up um, it's also not as important because out of the box, that just shot out of my table. So this is optional, you don't really have to do it, but I recommend it. Um, still put at least one drop of Lunar on each screw. And then I also loosen mine, just like the same thing with the Yuhu. I loosen it really loose to have that nice speedy feel. Again, another con whenever you do that is you'll get a lot of pops if you mess up on turning often. I didn't have to put any galaxy in the in the Dian. I just put like four drops of the Martian and maybe a couple drops of the Lunar on the pieces and it was money. It was really good. All right. Last but not least, the Gan V2. Now, I just got this. Uh, I did an unboxing in my previous video, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that now. I haven't set this up yet at all. This is still fresh out of the box. And it feels amazing. Like, if you had to, you could literally buy this for a competition and not set it up at all and still perform decent. So we're actually going to set this up for this video. 
out of the box, it's a little fast. I was thinking about tightening it a little bit, but then I was like, well, maybe I can just let the lube kind of do its job because, you know, maglev, it's just overall more speedy. So I'm actually going to start with five drops of Martian and we'll see how that goes. So Martian is just a really good baseline benchmark lube for the most part. So I'll put two here. Flip it around. Put two there, flip it around, and then do one here. Just mix that up a little bit, spread it around. So just a heads up for everyone watching, I have like a medium to light turning style. So automatically I'm just gonna gravitate to the lighter lubes and lighter setups. Okay, that still feels very similar. Pretty fast, but I like this speed. I'm actually gonna put a couple more. So pro tip whenever you're setting up cubes is always put less than what you think. Because you can always, it, it's just like spices with food. You can always add more, but you can't take away. Now if you do have to take away, you, you'll just have to clean out your cube, which is not really fun. Especially the bigger cube you go, it's just time consuming. All right, that's starting to feel really good. So this might be a really, really simple and easy setup for Megaminx. Uh, I just did a total of seven drops of Martian and it's really, really nice. Some people might need it to be slowed down a little bit. I would just start with like three or four drops of Galaxy and see what you think there. If you need it a lot more heavier than that, then just use Wait four, wait five. Yeah, I honestly just need to break this in a little bit. It's just brand new. All right, guys, hopefully that gives you a better idea on how to set up your Megaminx. Um, yeah, breaking in your cube, especially breaking in the Yoohoo V2, plays a big part in its performance. I noticed that after I had surpassed like five or 6,000 solves on the Yoohoo V2, which is a lot, I noticed like an improvement in the performance, which is crazy. For the budget, like for the price, the UV2 is still the biggest bang for your buck. If you have an infinite budget, like money is not an issue, just get the GAN V2. Very, very good. On this video, you saw how simple it was, simple it was to set it up compared to these two. So, yeah. Alright guys, hopefully that helped you out. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.